Good morning and welcome to a new video. This video has a very specific goal. So there's something I need to admit. Well over a month ago I ran the Great North Run. Ever since then uh, I haven't felt quite right in the digestion department and basically it's my Crohn's having a little bit of a flare up. That's something I recognised and decided to action to try and get it better as soon as possible. It's a bit weird, somehow it's not very easy to um, like admit it to yourself. I think because it comes on so slowly and not like dramatically and the symptoms aren't like horrific or anything, um, it's hard to kind of admit that you're that you're unwell again, especially because I was in such a good place with my running. But the reality is, you know, I live with Crohn's. That's, you know, it's gonna come back um, occasionally. And it's how I deal with that that is the most important part. So over the past uh, few weeks, I haven't been doing quite as much running. I've been doing a bit of different exercise and managing it basically. Uh, and now I'm, I'm feeling a lot better. And obviously I am someone who runs and lives with Crohn's. And in this video, uh, I thought it'd be useful to share three of my tips uh, for how you run with Crohn's because I know when I was um, first seeing whether I could run with Crohn's, it was something I didn't know if, if I should or could do. Um, there were a lot of things online that either said, yep, you'll be absolutely fine, doesn't matter at all, or no, you really, really shouldn't do that. Really, that's not the case, you know, everyone is individual and I think Hopefully these tips will help you be able to strike a balance between how much running you want to do and not flaring up your Crohn's. So let's get on to tip one. Just before the video gets going, I'd just like to say that I'm not a medical professional. I have not had any medical training. So take everything that I'm saying with a pinch of salt. It comes from my experience of someone who runs with Crohn's. I've done my own research and formed my own opinions. This is not something you should definitely go by. If you want to try anything new, I think it'd be a great idea to consult your doctor about anything you're doing exercise related if you've got Crohn's. Um, but hopefully these tips will still help you. There you go, on with the video. Okay, tip one. This is find what works for you. There aren't any like hard and fast rules about running, how much you should do, how often you should do it, when you should do it, how you should do it. Finding what works for you individually is key. There are things about running that might make you more uncomfortable than it does for others. So some of the things that work for me are, for example, I absolutely love getting up early in the morning. Ideally, I'd get up, get straight out of the door, get my run done, but I just don't feel as good when I do that. Um, so I always like to leave at least an hour, preferably like an hour and a half, um, from waking up until I run. Also make sure to go to the toilet, that always helps, avoids any risky runs. I also don't usually eat anything before my runs if it's in the morning. I do evening runs and obviously you have to eat before then, but I just make sure in that three hour window before not to eat anything substantial. So I've always had a meal before then, but then I can just have like a snack and then yeah, again, nothing like sort of hour, hour and a half before. Find when you want to do your runs. As I said, I love getting them done in the morning, but if that doesn't make you feel as good, just do them in the afternoon, it's fine. I know there's a lot of, I mean, in general, there's a lot of social media pressure, but I think especially those kind of people, and I've definitely been guilty of this before, who post at 8 a.m. having just been for their 10 mile long run, being like, yes, loved getting up today, got up early, got my run done, feels fantastic rubbing it in your face. If that's not what works for you, that's fine. Go in the afternoon, go in the evening, go inside, go on the treadmill, whatever works for you. And obviously keep your runs easy. Easy runs are great for building your fitness anyway, whether you have Crohn's or not. But I find that I love going on easy runs because I know that they're they're calm, they're chill, doesn't matter what pace you go. If you have to walk or you're just not feeling it that day so you go slower, that's totally fine. I think it means that I can recover more in the easy runs and then when it comes to the sessions, push a bit harder and not have any repercussions. But also in times that maybe your Crohn's is flaring up or something like that, just don't do sessions, don't push yourself too hard, don't push your body. It's a really high impact sport and you do have to take that into consideration. Even if you're doing easy runs, there's a lot of impact on your body. Okay, and tip number two is to find other forms of exercise, not to replace running, but to at least supplement the running. And that is why I'm heading off to the gym now, actually getting in a sneaky run before that, but I'm off to the gym.
Okay, so as I mentioned in the previous tip, running is a very high impact sport on your body and especially your stomach and digestion. It's not the easiest for people that have gastrointestinal problems. So you can supplement, not saying replace totally, but at least add into your training a bit of strength work, yoga, those are two things that I've really enjoyed. Or a bit of cycling if you want the aerobic benefit still, but without the impact. And obviously all of those things will help your training, even when you are running, if you're not having a flare up, get your strength work done. Speaking of, let's hit the gym. God, it's a glorious day. Okay, there we go, run and gym both done. Didn't really film much in the gym, just it felt a bit weird, but for your reference, it probably looked something like this. There you go. Um, so yeah, that was tip two, try and mix in other types of exercise as well as running. And now we're gonna go home for lunch and tip three, which in my opinion is the most important tip there is. Okay, so the third and final tip, and I think it's the most important one, is just to listen to your body. All of these things that I've been saying work for me and will hopefully work for you, but doesn't work for everybody. And as long as you're paying attention to what your body's telling you and how you're feeling, I don't think you can go much wrong. Don't overdo it if you're feeling bad. You know, it's, it's not good to push through further than you should. If you work out what makes your body feel good and what makes your body feel bad, then you can pretty much do as much as you want, as much as your body can allow you to do. Don't just take rules from random people on the internet telling you what to do. Listen and work out what's best for you. So those are my three tips. First, find out what works for you. If that's getting up and running first thing in the morning, fine. If it's not doing it until later in the day, also fine. If that means not eating breakfast, also fine. Doesn't matter, find out what works for you and you alone. Secondly, find ways to get other exercises like strength, yoga, cycling, things with less impact on your body. There are plenty of ways to maintain your fitness without running or without running as much. And then finally, the big one, listen to your body. I guess it kind of links into the first one, finding out what works for you. Listen, see what your body is telling you, what it likes, what it doesn't like, what it can do and go from there. It will take time, be prepared to try something, fail, or it might not be as comfortable as you thought it would be, or you could do this. You can do this, but you can't do this. The only way to find out is by doing. Obviously do that all safely. Don't go out and injure yourself or anything. But I am pretty sure the answer to can you run with Crohn's is not just a straight no. It is made harder for sure, and the chances are you won't be an Olympian. Everyone, I think, can still run or at least do some form of exercise with Crohn's disease. So thank you very much for watching this video. I guess it was a bit of a heavier video, but yeah, it's something that's very close to my heart. And if this has helped even one person with Crohn's or without Crohn's to uh, run a bit more comfortably and enjoy it more, then that would make me really happy. This is the kind of video that I would have hoped would have been online when I first was trying to find out whether I could run with Crohn's. Thanks for watching, you can like and subscribe, all those good things, and I will see you in the next one. Come